be crowded in there, don't you think? Whenever they built nests, I try and fluff them up after they've laid an egg. I'm about to change this nesting material. See how she walked on that egg? I try to get those eggs out of there. She ain't laid one yet. Oh, there's another one up in here. Maybe she had. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to change out the material. We'll see what she does. But I like to get my eggs while they're clean. And uh, less chance of them breaking them when, uh, when you get them out early. I like to use hay because they can build a nest. You know, that's not what they do naturally, and they can't do that with uh, wood chips. I'll leave you alone, honey. I had to keep this around. What I do is put eggshells in this can. All these eggshells in here. And I'll crush them with this stick. I get them down in there, pieces like this. And I'll put it in there with the feed, probably about once a week. You can tell when the egg shells get thin when you go to cook them. You don't want that to happen. You want a good hard shell all the time. So I add that in there about once a week. Well, Buffy won't leave you alone, will she? What's her problem? I got another nesting box on the other side, and they don't use it. You can see I got my can, my feed can, on blocks. It help keep it up off the ground and keep the bottom from rusting out. And uh, I also I don't have to reach too far down into the bottom of the bag. If you get a can, you want to get one that's welded. Some of them cut holes in them and uh, mount the uh, handles like that, but there's no chance of it leaking if it's welded. If you get one, if you can't find one that's, uh, not, that's welded, well, then you just silicone with 100% silicone on the places where it's uh, mounted. It just keeps the rainwater out. Another thing, another thing is, uh, you can see where I painted it before around here, maybe, right here. But that's what I do. I paint this down a little bit, and that keeps the coons out of the, uh, out of my feed can. Y'all hungry? All right then. I guess I'll feed you. I'll go around here and uh, let them out the door. I got this door here, but uh, they never come in and out here. This is just for me.
run them out here on the garden, you might want to think about where you're going to put your coop so you can do this too. I like to run them out here in the winter time and uh, they keep it uh, cleaned off, scratching around and uh, they'll fertilize it too. But uh, you might want to consider setting your coop up near your garden where you can do that. And uh, I started to put this fence up permanent, and then uh, I realized I could do that, so I so uh, I quit. And uh, basically, this just keeps the uh, coons and the other varmints out of my garden in the summertime, rabbits and all that. In the winter time, the ground seems to stay damp, so I put this uh, wood chips in in here on the ground. Help keep the smell down and uh, drive everything out. I think it's just a lot better for a chicken. Get your egg laid. I didn't know they, I didn't know they had floors in uh, chicken houses until I started watching YouTube. Now she come out there without laying an egg. This is the side they don't use, and they roost up here. So you all have three to four inch roosting poles for them to sleep at night. You don't want to use two by fours and all because you're hurting your chicken's feet. And uh, they can get up in here, and they can jump to here and into the nesting box, or they can come in through here. But you can see I got it well ventilated. It needs to be cleaned out. I clean it out once a year. And there's ventilation in the top for the summertime. And there's ventilation in the bottom of the roof. But uh anyway, that's that's my coop design. I've got ten down here around the bottom. So that the wood won't rot and it helps keep varmints out too. Alright. A little bit of dumbaceous earth. Food grade. Just a little bit in there. That'll keep the mice down too. And like I said, every time I I get eggs out of there, I'll fluff the nest up. So that they'll rebuild it and that's what they like to do. So, alright, I'll leave y'all alone. Another thing I like to do is add a little bit of Dimacia surfs to the feed cans. That helps with worms and stuff like that. Not too much, just a little bit.
See, I got perches out here in the open. I've got a roof on the uh, run, but they can get out here in the sun. And then I got a roof here for when it's raining and bad weather. They come up and down this ladder. And I got this, this old feed trough here so the old lady can jump up there. And I got two feeders that help them keep them from uh, crowding around one feeder at one time. I got my watering can with a funnel on it to keep them off the top of it. This string goes up to the roof of this covered area. Also got a door where I can separate them. I can drop this down and then that closes off the uh, hen house from the uh, rest of the run in case I gotta catch any of them. You see when I water I left a crack in the door A little latch on there. But I can uh, water them. Then uh, don't have to worry about them getting out. I can still get my hose through here. We had mink coming up from the lake. And uh, we had to put chicken wire on the outside side on the fence to keep them out. So we got it closed in from top to bottom. These two got something going on. I see an egg right there. Come on now, y'all got y'all got plenty of nesting boxes. Why you gotta do that? We appreciate y'all watching. Lord willing, we'll see you later.